Hello, uh, today we, I am going to discuss about design of fillet wells. In last lecture, I have discussed uh, details about the fillet well, mean different parameters used for fillet well, like what is the effective length of the well, what is the total length of the well, what is the size of the well, what is the effective thickness of the well, like this we have discussed and also how to find, find out the maximum allowable um, throat thickness or size and minimum size of the weld uh, on the basis of the plate thickness that also we have discussed. And finally, we have discussed about the uh, design strength of fillet weld, right. Uh, I am just giving a same formula here means whatever you, uh, I have used in last class uh, that is P D W is equal to F U L W into T by root 3 comma M W where uh, T is the effective throat thickness that can be found as K S and in case of generally we use right angle and for that uh, it is 0 0.707 S. And um, on the basis of this uh, we will go through one workout example uh, where we will see how to calculate the weld length uh, for a um, particular value of uh, load if some load is given then how to find out the length of the weld and how to distribute the length of the weld in different side that will see through this workout example. This is the example uh, we have considered today that is a tie member uh, of a roof truss consists of ISA 100 by 75 by 8 this angle section of a p 410 grade is welded to a 10 mm thickness gusset plate. That means, this gusset plate thickness is 10 mm. Design the weld connection to transmit a load T. Assume connections are made in workshop. Right. So, here the thickness is given means thickness of the gusset plate is given 10 mm and thickness of the angle is 8 mm. So, from these two we can find out the uh, size of the weld right. So, this is one thing second thing is that this is an angle section. So, its C G distance will not be at the middle not at will be at the center. So, that means uh, it will not be that the length will not be distributed equally in upper side and lower side, because the force whatever is acting along its C G, the strength of the weld has to be made in such a way the equivalent strength passes through this C G. That means, the weld distribution has to be made in such a way that uh, oil strength equivalent oil strength are passing through this CG. So, let us see. So, first of all if we want to do this first what we have to find out we have to find out first minimum oil size minimum oil size. So, minimum oil size will be actually 3 mm this is found from table 21 of IS 800. In table 21, uh, the minimum size of the weld has been given in last lecture also I have shown that table and in this case minimum size will be 3 mm and maximum size maximum weld size will be 3 fourth by because it is angle. So, maximum will be 3 fourth by uh, thickness of the angle. So, this is coming 6 mm. So, the size of the weld will vary from 3 mm to 6 mm. So, we can assume let us assume say 5 mm okay, 5 mm size right. So, what will be the throat thickness? Throat thickness will be because here uh, it is 90 degree angle of fusion we are assuming. 
So, uh, effective throat thickness will be 0 0.7 into s, s means 5, so 3.5 m. And uh, we do not have the external load. So, as the external load is not given, so we do not know what should be the design strength of the joint has to be calculated. So, what we will do? We will try to design the joint uh, to develop its full strength, full strength of, of the joint. So, for calculating the full strength, we have to find out the what is the strength of the joint means tensile capacity of the plate or of the angle. So, that can be developed as a full strength and if we equate with that full strength with the uh, weld strength, then we can find out the length of the weld. So, for ISA 100 by 75 by 8, we can find out the full strength as say T as F y A g by gamma m 0. Now, we have to know uh, A g, F y is we know that yield stress if we use F e 410 grade of steel, then uh, the yield stress will be 250 into A g, A g is the gross area of the angle. So, for this angle A g is found from the handbook that is 1336 millimeter square. This we can find out from the SP 6. Okay, in SP 6 if we open we will see the gross area of the angle is given this 1336 millimeter square. So, we can multiply with this and gamma m 0 the partial safety factor 1.1 and this is in Newton. So, if we make it kilo Newton it will be that means, what we could see here that we do not have the T value here means we do not know what will be the T. So, this T we can re make 303.64 kilo Newton right. So, under this load if we can design this weld then we can design for this full capacity. Now, we have to find out the full strength of the uh, sorry strength of 5 mm weld strength of 5 mm weld this will be uh, f u by root 3 into gamma m w into T e. So, if we make this we will get 662.8 Newton per millimeter. So, strength of weld per millimeter run we can find out as 662.8 Newton per millimeter. Now, we can find out force at different site say the angle is connected with the gusset plate. So, first we will see how much strength is going to take by this weld 100 mm oil means 100 mm length of oil because this is 100 right this is 100. So, if this is 100 then what will be the strength carrying by this portion if we found out if we find then again what we can do we can take a moment about this and we can find out what should be the required amount of force at this weld phase right. So, if we have to do that then we can find out say uh, if this is the distribution of weld say this is L w 1 and this is another one and this is 100 mm length of weld. So, if this is 100 mm length of weld then uh, this strength this is say 
this is LW1 and P1 and say LW2 in and P2 and LW3 the length of weld and strength is say suppose P3 right. So, P2 I can find out the 662.8 into 100 mm distance ok. So, we can find out 66.28 kilo Newton. So, P2 will be 66.28 kilo Newton. Now, if we take uh, if we take moment about this line, then we can find out P 1 as T into y by d minus P 2 by 2 right. T is acting at its C g this is T this is T is acting and this distance is the C g distance right and now this is basically y ok and if we consider this is d. So, from this we can find out p 1 as so 303.64 into y is that we can find out from S p 6 that is becoming 31 31 mm. Right. So, 31 by 100 minus P 2 by 2, P 2 is becoming 66.28 by 2. So, if we calculate this, we can find out the value as 61 kilo Newton. So, force to resist at lower side of the angle P 3 will be total force minus P 1 minus P 2. So, P 3 we can find out that will be 303.64 minus 61 minus 66.28 is equal to 176.36 kilo Newton. right. So, force at P 1 means force P 1, P 2, P 3 can be found out P 1, P 2, P 3 this is found in such a way that the uh, the resultant of this three force will be equal to T the external force without producing any additional moment right. Now, on the basis of P 1 and P 3 we can find out L W 1 and L W 3. So, L W 1 I can find out P 1 by the permissible stress permissible strength of the weld ok. So, sigma. So, that means, P 1 is 61 into 10 q by 662.8 which we have calculated earlier. So, this is coming 92 mm. Similarly, length required at lower side L w 2 uh, the 3 will be 176.36 into 10 to the 3 by 662.8 this will become 266 mm this is how we can calculate so now the total length of the weld can be calculated lw the total length of the weld that will be 266 means sorry lw1 plus lw2 plus L w 3. So, L w 1 we found uh, L w 1 uh, we, we find 92 plus L w 2 was 100 and L w 3 was 266. So, this is becoming 458 mm right. So, L w the total effective length is becoming 458 mm. Now, total length will be total length will be 
L w the effective length plus 2 s because as we told the uh, length whatever required we have to make additional length of s here and additional length of s here to get total length to make efficient of the joint. So, this is 458 plus 2 into s, s was calculated how much s was uh, 5 mm. So, it will be 468 mm. So, this is how we can calculate. So, finally, uh, this is not all actually we have to find out the distribution in terms of drawing. So, we have to make a diagram. So, if we see the angle section if it is connected to the gusset plate then the distribution this is L w 1 this is L w 2 which is 100 and this is L w 3. So, we have to give the value of L w 1 here uh, that is 92 this is 100 and this is uh, 266 mm right this is L w 2 and this is L w 3 right and its C g is in this direction here force T is acting ok and if we see this this is the gusset plate connected with the angle right. So, unless we finish this diagram it will not be complete because whatever we as a designer whatever we calculate we have to represent in terms of drawing because uh, at the site when uh, engineer will see site engineer will see it will not see the detail calculation or anything else it will see the drawing. So, whatever you are getting you have to represent in terms of drawing so that engineer can understand at the site. And here one thing we have to remember we provide the effective length suppose length whatever we are providing it is effective length and engineer has to add 2 s that means, the size of the weld it has to add and then it has to fabricate right. So, this is one example another example I will go through to see the weld connection this is another example design a suitable fillet weld to connect wave plate to flange plate and flange plate to cover plate of a built up garter as shown in the figure. I will show the figure for the following data assume shop welding wave plate is 1200 by 12 and flange plate is 450 by 20 flange cover plate is 350 by 16 and maximum factor shear is 1600 kilo newton. So, what we need to know we need to know the what will be the size of the fillet weld so that it can be connected. Uh, to the wave with this flange and cover plate to extend the maximum shear force of 1600 kilometer. So, if we see the diagram it will look like this. So, the wave is 1200 by 12. So, half of the distance has been taken that is 1200 by 2 that is 600 if we consider this is a centroid at axis then the flange plate thickness is considered as 20 mm and its width is 450 mm and another cover plate is added this plate of 350 mm by 16 mm. So, we have to weld this area to join the plate with the wave and similarly 
we have to weld this area to join cover plate with the flange plate. So, this is how we have to do. Now, how do we find out the solution? Let us see. So, in this case, first we have to find out the permissible shear stress in the weld. Permissible shear stress in the weld. That will be how much? We know F u by root 3 gamma m w, right. So, for this case, say F e 410 has been used and shop oil has been used. Let us assume that shop oil and F e 410 grade of steel has been used. So, F u will be 410 MPa and gamma m w will be 1.25 for this case. So, if we consider this, then we can find out the permissible shear stress in the oil is as 410 by root 3 into gamma m w that is 189.37 millimeter Newton per millimeter square. Okay. Now, we will see first, uh, we will see first this, this connection, connection to wave and flange. First, we will connect this, we will see what will be the length and other details. So, first what we will see that size of the weld, we have to find out size of the weld from minimum and maximum criteria. So, size of weld will be minimum will be for this case minimum will be 5 mm from table 21, table 21 uh, if we look we will see that for this thickness of the plate the minimum thickness of weld will be 5 mm and maximum thickness of weld will be thickness minus minimum thickness minus 1.5 that is 10.5 mm as per clause 10.5.8.1 in this clause you will find out right. So, we can assume a size of the oil in between 5 mm and 10.5 mm that means, we can assume the size of the oil as say 7 mm size of the oil as 7 mm then effective throat thickness of the oil we can find out that is k into s that is 0 0.7 into s. So, this is 0 0.49 millimeter right. Now, total thickness of the weld will be means summation of T I can write 2 into 4.9 why 2 9.8 why 2 we are multiplying because weld is not, not done in one place in two place. Here one set of weld is given, here another set of weld is given. So, total load will be carried by these two side. Therefore, the thickness of weld has been added. Now, we have to find out the shear stress at this junction, shear stress at this point and it has to withstand by the weld. So, shear stress we know is equal to shear force V into A y bar by I z z into T e V q by I V. Okay. So, this is what we have to find out. So, for finding out we have to know what are the details. So, here we know V is given, V was 1600 kilo Newton, right. Now, I have to find out A into y bar and i z z. So, A y bar I can find out if we see that 450 into 20, this is A, this is the flange area 
into y bar will be 600 plus 20 by 2 this is 1 then 350 into 16 into 600 plus 20 plus 8 right. So, we can find out this as 900.68 into 10 to the 4 millimeter cube right. Again I can find out I z z So, I z z if I find out we will see that will be 2 into in 350 into 16 cube by 12 b d cube by 12 plus a r square 350 into 16 into 628 square plus 450 into 20 into 610 square plus the moment of inertia of the wave portion 12 into 1200 cube by 12 bd cube by 12. Okay. So, from this I can find out the value as 12 into 8 12 point 8 into 10 to the 9 millimeter to the 4 right. So, this is the i z z value. Now, if we put the value in this formula I can find out the shear stress. So, if I put this value shear stress will be will become v into a y bar 1600 into a y bar was calculated as 900.68 into 20 to the 4 by i z z was 12.8 into 10 to the 9 into summation of t e is 9.8 right. So, this is the shear stress this after calculating we can find out 114.9 Newton per millimeter square and the permissible stress calculated was 189.37. Earlier we have calculated if u by root 3 gamma mw that is the permissible shear stress of the weld. So, it is less than 189.37 that means it is safe the joint is safe under that much stress uh, shear force. Now, we will see another one the connection of flange plate to flange cover that means this one connection of flange plate to uh, sorry this one connection of flange plate to flange cover. So, we have to join this means two uh, uh, weld again has been provided. So, we have to see whether it is safe or not. So, it will be connection of flange plate to cover plate. So, if we see this in this case the summation of T u will be same 9.8 mm if we use same size of the weld and a y bar will be different a y a bar will be 350 into 16 this is the area into 600 plus 20 plus 8 y bar. So, this will be 351.68 millimeter cube. Now, shear stress I can find out 
shear stress shear stress will be v into a y bar by i z z into T e is equal to if I calculate the value this will be 351.68 into 10 to the 4 by i z z 12.8 into 10 to the 9 into 9.8 and this is after calculation this we are getting 44.86 newton per millimeter square and it is less than 189.37 newton per millimeter square. So, this is also safe right. So, well is safe that means, what we have seen here is that the shear force of the connection was given and we have assumed certain size of the weld based on the minimum size and maximum size from the thickness and then we have calculated what will be the developed shear stress at the wave plate and flange plate connection and flange plate and cover plate connection. So, the developed stress we have calculated and we know permissible stress is a few by root 3 gamma m w. So, uh, we have seen that and the developed stress is less than the permissible stress therefore, the joint is ok. This is how we can check the joint whether it is ok or not right. So, in today's lecture what we have seen that two type of problem we have come across and we have seen how to calculate the design strength of the weld or how to design the weld joint and in first case we have seen how the uh, distribution of the weld will be done for an angle section because in angle section the C G distance is not at the center. So, we have to make the weld connection in such a way that uh, strength of the weld connection coincides with the C G of the joint. So, this is what we have done. This is all for today's lecture. Thank you.